Yesterday when we had the news that Chavez had passed away, we were we were shocked. We were upset. Um, and at about 6 p.m., we all started to walk down towards the main plaza. All my friends and comrades were there. Everyone was crying, hugging each other. The, 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 the feeling of sadness was so intense. It's a sort of intense sadness that you don't get usually for presidents because Chavez for us wasn't just a president. He was, he was a comrade and a friend and an inspiration. He was like a father in a way. There were speeches um, and rallies and a lot of chanting. Later there was some praying, some music. There's going to be mourning, but after that there will be fighting. I feel for Chavez because it's always very sad when a revolutionary dies, but especially when a revolutionary dies before their time um, and before they get to finish the project that they've started. Uh, obviously a revolution is constant, it doesn't have its end, but Chavez was elected for a third term and he never got to to begin that third term. He wrote the, the Socialist Plan 2013 to 2019 where there's exciting progressive socialist radical structural changes that we are hoping to implement here and he won't get to be there for that and that's really really sad. For us Chavez was Chavez Chavez was like he was like a hundred people in the office. That's how much he worked and how much of an impact he did and how much uh, change he has he has been able to implement in the last 14 years. I think it's clear that the opposition has been planning for this moment. The stunt-like protests that they've organised outside the Cuban embassy, extremely low attended events because they don't have mobilising power, but they do have media power. This combined with the, the food scarcity, the lack of milk, sugar, oil, cooking oil in the shops, private companies who have stopped producing or stopped supplying the goods that we need. The opposition has been planning for for Chavez is passing because they realize that it's a moment of instability that they can take advantage of. Briles, one of the main opposition leaders, is currently in the US and New York and we have no doubt that he is he's talking to people and he's making arrangements. So I think it's a vulnerable time but having said that I feel like the opposition is going to be even weaker now because before they depended very much on, on hating Chavez. They don't have a figure person like him to hate on. Obviously, they're going to transfer their, their demonizations to Maduro. But I think that's going to be a lot harder because Maduro is not where he is because of what he's done. He's where he is because of Chavez. Um, Maduro is a good person, um, but he doesn't have the same charisma and the same determination and connection with the people that Chavez had. So now the revolution is very much about us and I think that is a lot harder for the opposition to demonize seven or eight million people. We have a month now until there will be elections and I feel very confident that, that we will win those elections. The, the opposition has nothing to campaign around, just you know, their the usual fabricated issues of economic uh, chaos and, and things like that. My sense from talking to people is that people are determined to fight on. I'm not concerned that this revolution is over because, because its leader has passed away. Very much the opposite. I feel now that people have a sense of responsibility to do as, as everyone has been chanting all around the country, to be Chavez. To, to do what he was doing. It's no longer about writing letters, asking to do, asking Chavez to do stuff for us, but rather it's about us taking on that role. The last thing to say is that because the opposition's main weapon against us is the media, uh, it's really important that everyone in all their country are reading sites like Venezuela Analysis, like Green Left Weekly, all the, the alternative news sites and getting the real story about what's going on here and spreading that because the, the lies that the mainstream media has been putting out about us and about our president is so outrageous, even worse than before. Um, so everyone has something that they can do to, to help the revolution at this critical time.